Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 11 and let's play the second reality project 2 Reloaded Cyclaboos Challenge. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. So what is this Appenzeller Avenue that I'm seeing right here? Moon looks creepy as hell, almost creepier than the moon of Majora's Mask. And the snails, of course, from Alfred Chicken. I wonder if they're gonna have the ones that can actually shoot upward. That would be a neat twist. You don't really see many Mario enemies that can shoot upward, well, not in Super Mario World at least. Really? They put a Yoshi coin right there? That could be so easy to get killed. What if you just go one pixel too far? Oh, looks like I need to find the blue switch to get that one. Oh, fair enough. Maybe I'll find it in this world. I think I remember Marty telling me that the blue switch should be somewhere in around the Mount Cheesaw area. It involves pursuing pirates. Yeah, so many feathers, but I want to at least keep a flower. Just in case. This level should not look impossible or extremely hard if you don't have the blue switch activated. What? Why did I punch? I thought I pressed B. I guess my finger slipped on the Y, but oh well. Hmm. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to hit a switch to get through. Oh god. Well, there goes one of my capes. Well, my only cape. Ooh, this is so dangerous. Rid of these snails. Maybe the snails are the Appenzellers? I'm not sure. When I hear that term, I'm reminded of that uh, Canadian store of Zellers. I don't know if it's doing very good anymore. I don't know. We used to have a Zellers that became a Walmart, and it still looks like a Zellers. But maybe I'm just getting too ahead of myself. Then, now that I got the switch activated, I gotta find a way to get back. Oh, and I'll have to hit it again, so <laughs> that was kind of pointless. Eh, not necessarily, there's still more of this. Just make sure you pay attention to once you hit the switch, like the moons will become stars and vice versa. So that you're not gonna land on the munchers. Which, ironically, are Panzer sprites. But okay. Have it your way, game. Okay, power! I think I needed to hit this to get through. Yup. Either that or just take damage, which really you don't want to do. And how can you get back anyway? Okay, well, this level may seem slightly tedious, but it's still well designed. Concept can get tedious. Oh, I'm gonna make it back anyway, so we're good to go. I don't understand why that pipe to the far right is there. It's not like you can just go in it. Unless if that's what they're trying to go for. Whenever you exit the level, you're going in the pipe to go here. Cheddar Chambers? and eh, let's wait. We're gonna do Wiggler's Winter next. Oh, I can go left first. Oh. I think I need a fire flower for this. No? Okay, I need something else for this. And you can't go under that, apparently. I know what I need. I need a shell. Excuse me? Did that actually happen? I wound up destroying the Wiggler instead. I tried to let go, but I was like avoiding the bullet bill. Are they gonna, really gonna make this the only shell in the entire level? Just wow, Bonga, how did I do that? <coughs> you find new ways to surprise people, don't ya? <laughs> 
That was a big epic fail on my part. Well, it's not like there would have been like a secret exit or anything. It was probably just for like a couple flowers and a three up moon. It's not really gonna do much for me at this point. Well, shoot. Which is like the ironic thing to say around bullet bills. <laughs> Can you like calm down now, Wiggla? Ugh. Okay, this level is treacherous because of all the ice and stuff. I mean, yeah, you get like the uh, frozen coins. However, there are also frozen munchers. Th that Yoshi coin is no longer worth it. Because I released the worst kind of muncher. The one that's right next to the low ceiling. Point of advice? Some blocks in the area can only be destroyed by throwing... Yeah, yeah, I, I know. You've already gone through this like several levels ago. It's not like I'm only gonna realize it now or anything. It's like, oh, I could have been destroying those the whole time with shells? So the whole thing about them being right next to shells is not a coincidence? God damn. <laughs> Oh. There we go. Now, we should be able to continue on. I don't think I need to continue taking this shell with me, do I? There's probably gonna be another one on the other side if I do need another one. As seen here, it looks like I'll have to keep doing this. Wait, what's down here? Death. That's what's down there. Uh, let me, let me go off screen so that that poison mushroom will despawn. There, that, that's better. Alright, don't do the same thing you already did before. I think I could have did like a slide to take care of that wiggler. Wait, there might be something down here. Nope, nothing. I don't really think this level will have a secret exit. Just the map layout doesn't really add up. <laughs> look at the way he walks, like, on ice. It's so awkward, but funny to look at. It's like he's playing Rock'em Sock'em Robots with a ghost. Blue ice cake? Okay. Hmm. This is the Blue Switch Palace. Is that what Marty meant by, like, chasing after pirates? That you would need its shell? I think that's what he was going for. So, that was a very cryptic hint. Is it a good idea to go this way? Yep, it is. Okay, maybe not so much, given that I've gotten so little out of it. Alright, let's continue on. It's a good thing I- Ugh! Got a flower, because I'll be needing this a lot. Hey, dolphins. What's up? Even their noses are slippery. What's up with that? It's like, I understand this is an icy level, but why do the dolphins have to be slippery? Ugh. That, to me, doesn't make sense. It's like, the dolphins are not made out of ice. I mean, maybe the Miami, Miami dolphins can be ice cold, but that's not related to this. Oh, I thought we were going to be dealing with water. God, dino rhinos are here. Really? Didn't make it in time? Nice job. Nice job. Uh, oh, okay. I see what I need to do. I have to be on the other side to get through here. And it looks like I've been needing a P-switch. this and get another one <laughs> you can never have too many p switches oh okay i think i screwed that puzzle up or did i oh here i was thinking i needed to do that 
Wait, 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 no, no, no. You can, I can re-hit that. That's what? I can re-hit that. Because one of those types of switches, I'll just bring back up. There. See, it wasn't a lost cause. Now, I gotta think about how I'm gonna get to here. I need to hit that switch somehow, but I bet you it's in that room. Like, this one. Let's find out. Oh god, porky puffers. Ow! Oh yeah, take a hit right there and when the power-up is out of reach. I hate when that happens. Yeah, the water scrolls up with the level itself. Wait, can I use a shell to do this? You know, if I can get up there? Or, you know, just do that. I didn't really need the shell, I just needed to wait for the water to go back up. Can I go back? No, not through that side, it seems. Well, I suppose the shell was useful for something. Oh, good, a mushroom. Maybe it'll just send me back to that cave. Yeah, it does. Which is actually a good idea. Oh, well, apparently these can breathe fire. Even though they're in a, pretty much an ice wasteland. Yeah, I have his best to get rid of them. Looks like there's a bit more to do here. Oh, I don't want the shell. Yeah, that gets rid of the Bowser statue. Oh, I need to hit another switch to get through here. Now, how do we figure this out? Oh, oh, there's a doorway over there. I gotta hit that switch again, but what was over to the right? Oh, well, I need that switch hit anyway. Oh, for this, I'm gonna need a shell, right? Really? I was trying to do a spin jump, and it wouldn't work. Okay, I need the shell to hit that. Wow, that Koopa went all the way down. Good. That's how it's gonna go down. So I'm guessing I'm going to need a shell. Well, I'll get another one somehow. <laughs> wait, wait, I see what I need to do. I need to collect these coins. And then I can actually deal with the shell. Or do this. But I need to take the P-Switch with me, so let's do it anyway. Because you never know. Oh, jeez. I made things worse for myself. Um, maybe the P-Switch was not necessary. Oh, I know what it is! You need to bring that Bowser statue down. So you can actually land on it. There you go, that's how it works. Huh, you get another flower flower. I already got plenty. Oh, I think I need to go up for this. Oh, just for three lives. I don't really need all those coins. Done! Now I got the blue switch activated. You know what I haven't done in a long time? I locked another shortcut to Marty's base. Because I mean, to get back to Marty's base, I have to go all the way back to World 2. And that is so tedious. Wait a minute, I can go down here now. Oh, so it gives me a little bit of a shortcut. Oh, 
Oh well. So I guess we're gonna do this level now. Cheddar Chambers. Oh god, I remember this level when I played the original Second Reality Project 2. I hated it! It was so confusing. I mean, I was able to find both exits, but it was practically an exercise in attrition all by itself. I don't know if these, like, spherical things are supposed to be, like, mounds of cheese. I would imagine they are. Okay, let me... up. Spiky balls are so difficult to manage. Oh, I died. Because there's so many of them. Yeah, I think we are supposed to go through this door. Oh, are you kidding me? No, no, no. I don't want to take that hit. I've taken one too many. I had plenty of time to get over there. But I had to gauge it cautiously. Yep, yeah, there. I think if anything, I'm only just gonna get the normal exit. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I'll get both exits. It just means I'm only gonna get the normal one if I go this way. Jeez. Why do you have to make it so tightly squeezed? You had to be in the perfect spot. I hate that. When you had to navigate ever so gingerly just to avoid a single strike. There's gonna be more of those crushers, isn't there? Yep. Oh god. I don't like this at all. Okay, okay. Could have been a lot worse. Now we go this way, I believe. Do I go down here into this door? You know, let's try this door. So it looks like I have to, like, uh, do that event with a switch for both exits. It seems like the only way I could have gotten somewhere. Wait a minute, I'm back here again. Was this just for a cape? I think so. that door. But there's a secret there. I gotta find something to, like, uh, get to that door there. Okay. I don't know if you find it through here, but let's see. You gotta be slow, because these things can drop down on ya. I already got a flower, so I'm good. I think a flower would serve me better against those things than, well, my cape. Well, nothing works against these things. Well, maybe a star. Oh my god, are you serious? All oh, that spinning and I still get hit. Like, right on the head. Oh man, this... I remember this level. Five years since I did the original version of this hack. So much has changed since then, obviously. Hmm. I thought there was something over there. Wait, did my fireball face through that? Oh, that was probably just a graphical thing. I always thought those blocks were breakable. Wait, why did my running jump go like that? It was extremely stunted. Let's try left. Doesn't really matter where I go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That thing looked like Pac-Man, but it wasn't. So this door to the left I can't reach. What about the door on the right? The 
thing that's annoying with some of the secret exits is they're both spread out so far. That's definitely the regular exit. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. So how am I going to get that other switch? Well, I guess I'll have to go back to this level and find out. There's a fortress here. Ruin of smell! That describes my ass, so let's go back to Cheddar Chambers. Wait a minute, can you actually cheat the system? Like, I'm trying to think, can you, like, jump right away? I don't think so. Wait a minute, I can fly! Let, let me go back to uh, Marty's base to get a cave and I'll meet you back here. Okay, I made it back to Cheddar Chambers with a cape this time. So let's see if my little hypothesis actually works. Well, it looks like I can skip a whole bunch of the level. Unless it's supposed to be some kind of secret, rather than just leading to a secret exit. But well, I guess we'll find out. Cause it looks like I can hit this switch earlier. Oh, Jesus. I think this is a secret exit. This looks devastating. So it's a good thing I have this uh, cape. Uh, oh! I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss, not miss, both my power ups as a result of that. Because my power ups can't catch up the scrolling. Even with the scrolling, does it seem like the saw is actually moving closer to my the middle of the screen? Maybe I'm just seeing things. It seems like the common trope of this Let's Play that me just being delusional. Uh, I'm not getting that three up moon. Because I can't! I can't break those blocks. I already got 99 lives, so it doesn't even matter. There's probably going to be no power-ups for the entire stretch, or maybe I'm just missing the blocks that have them. Yeah. Well, at least that doorway to the left should now be accessible. It wasn't before, because that... <sighs> Thank God I did not take damage there. Because, you know, I would have been killed. There, that's the secret exit. All I needed was a cape. And sped things up. Alright, let's find out where this leads. If it takes me back to Marty's, that's actually very convenient. Nope, just takes me to another level. On, off, cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video right here, and the next part I'm gonna do this level, and maybe do the fortress. I think this level will take me to the pipe that takes me to Marty's. Goodbye, everyone.